Oh, please, dude. No, I built to the ceiling over there. No! <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Dude, I just know that, like, that day that I got the 990 whatever twice. If I streamed, like, the day after that, I would have been, like, peak mental, peak dental, peak pack attack mode. But here we are. Yo, what's up, Pinball Wiz? This is what I said right before the attempts that would end up clearing the hardest difficulty in everyone's favorite Pac-Man-themed falling block puzzle game, Pack Attack. That's right, I'm talking about God Hands difficulty. Why the name God Hands? No idea, but it sure sounds cool. So what's the deal with this top secret difficulty, and why would I spend so much time on a puzzle game that isn't something popular like Tetris? Instead of just uploading my completed run with zero context, I figured I'd go ahead and explain all there is to know about this game and highlight some key moments from my grind. I might even drop some Pack Attack Pro tips from time to time, so you may want to keep your ears peeled for that one. For those ones. You know what? You, you just watch the video. <laughs> one of the first video games my parents ever got for me was Pac-Man Collection on the Game Boy Advance. And of course, it's got Pack Attack on it. This came with many of the collections that Namco's put out. Now, I don't recall much from this period in time, but this planted the seed in my brain that Pack Attack exists, and it's pretty rad. Come to think of it, I do have one specific memory, and that I somehow managed to guess the three character password to the final stage of puzzle mode. LST, likely short for last. During my research for this video, I stumbled upon the entire list of passwords, including a code for the ending credits, and wait, what the hell? 2014 rolled around, and I began to speedrun Pac-Man World 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. In the last year that I actively ran that game, I started my own little tradition of ending off every session of attempts with a couple rounds of Pack Attack. However, the Pac-Man World 2 arcade version is distinctly different from the GBA version I was more accustomed to. Sporting a space-themed aesthetic and slightly modernized graphics, I always assumed that this version was made specifically for Pac-Man World 2. Turns out that assumption was completely wrong, because it's actually a port of the Namco Anthology 2 version, which is a Japanese-only collection for the PlayStation 1. In fact, I played Namco Anthology 2 on an emulator for my recent God Hand grind. I prefer this version over the World 2 port, mainly because the port is inexplicably missing the stressful sped-up music when you're nearing the top of the playfield. It may seem like a minor thing, but feeling stressed out is integral to my pack attack experience, okay? God Hands truly is top secret in the World 2 port, but the PS1 version has its own tutorial mode bluntly named Road to God Hand. Upon completion of this mode, you're given a special message. Congratulations, you've mastered all. There is nothing more to teach you. Now challenge for the honor of God Hands. We can only wish for your success. Good luck followed by an explanation of how to access it. Simply hold right while selecting Veteran Mode. I didn't learn this until recently, but a secret difficulty starting on level 900 also exists in the original 16-bit versions. It feels much more akin to a cheat code, especially on the SNES because you have to hold down right, plus L and R while selecting Hyper Mode. There's also a level 300 variant by holding right instead of down right. Before I go on about other version differences, let's tackle the basics. Pack Attack is a falling block puzzle game containing L-shaped pieces of ghost and bricks. That's all it is, ghost and bricks. Real simple. Fill a row with bricks, you clear that row. Fill multiple rows of bricks, you clear multiple rows. You can't hold pieces like in modern Tetris, but you at least get a forecast of the upcoming piece. After a fixed number of normal pieces, in this example it takes 5, you'll get a piece that has Pac-Man somewhere on it. Once the piece is placed, Pac-Man will begin traveling in the direction he's facing and consume whatever ghost are in his pathway. He can travel sideways and downward, he can bounce off walls, and that's pretty much it. There's no climbing upwards. 
Pack Attack isn't even the original form of this puzzle game. It's a rebranding of an older Namco game called Cosmo Gang The Puzzle, which is the third game in the Cosmo Gang series. Look, I don't know what this Cosmo Gang gang is, but I want to join it. Now let's answer the question, what makes beginner mode beginner mode while god hand requires such godly hands or whatever? Pack Attack's difficulty comes down to three different variables. The most influential variable by far is the Pieces per Pac-Man, or PPP. Starting at level 0, beginner mode hands out Pac-Man every third piece. With so many Pac-Men at your disposal, it's almost difficult to intentionally lose. The PPP will steadily increase as the game goes on, reaching 4 pieces at level 20, 5 at level 70, 6 at level 150, and that's when I got bored of recording this. Leveling up is determined by a bunch of factors, but it basically represents how long you've survived for. By the way, going from level 0 to 999 in one sitting takes about 5 hours. Have fun! Difficulty also comes in the forms of pieces falling faster and increased ghost requirements for fairies to show up. This yellow bar is the fairy meter, which will increase with every ghost that's consumed. Our good friend's angry space Pac-Man will announce the number of remaining ghosts needed for the next fairy to show up after each Pac-Man phase. He kinda gives off a similar vibe to that 3D pinball space cadet, not to mention he watched over me during a good portion of my grind like a guardian angel. He's just gonna be behind me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just leave that there and just not even reference it ever again. Fairies act as a partial screen wipe. In the 16-bit versions, they merely clear out the ghost, and the remaining bricks fall into place, often leading to a bonus multi-line clear. In the PS1 version, fairies clear out ghost and bricks in seven total rows below where they're placed. This will bail you out of any impossible situation. Every time the fairy meter's filled, the required amount of ghost for the next fairy will increase, and that's where the third variable of difficulty comes into play. The number of ghosts per fairy. Sometimes you're set up for a fairy, but your stack is so clean that you don't even need one. What if you didn't have to use it? A skilled pack attacker will embrace cancel culture and perform a fairy cancel whenever they can. Not only does this give you up to 100,000 points depending on the difficulty, but it automatically fills your fairy meter halfway up for the following fairy. Even if you couldn't care less about score, it's highly advantageous for your next fairy to arrive sooner than it normally would in case you do encounter a perilous situation. You may be thinking that this sounds like too good of a deal for the simple action of not using a resource, but there is a much greater risk involved here. Fairies arrive in place of where Pac-Man would normally show up. The largest factor in pack attacks difficulty is the number of pieces per Pac-Man, and performing a fairy cancel means you're effectively doubling the PPP for one round of pieces. Now here's the kicker. For the entirety of God Hand mode, you have to survive under the conditions of 10 pieces per Pac-Man. This means that every time you elect to cancel a fairy, that's 19 pieces in a row with no Pac-Man in sight. Trust me, you're not going to want to attempt this unless your stack is pristine leading up to it. Might be fairy cancelable, depending on how I play this out. Ooh, bricks there, not good. Um, let's go for it, bro. Go for it. First fairy cancel of the day. Okay, timely bricks, timely bricks. There we go. Hey, it worked out quite well, I would say. That's what I'm talking about. You see, this is one of the reasons why I can't seem to get enough of this game. It heavily rewards doing risky things like fairy canceling or building larger chains that will lead into breaking a ton of bricks at once, and it just feels so good, man. During my tenure as a 2-pock speedrunner, as opposed to 1-pock or 3-pock, or even 4-Pack, I learned of the existence of God Hand after a simple YouTube search for some juicy Pack Attack content. Hey Pac-Man! <laughs> Why don't you get on the set, man? Of which there wasn't a whole lot of, but also the user Wankoshino1, who back in 2011 uploaded a full run of God Hand across three separate videos. Not only did they complete the mode, but they cancelled every single fairy. 
My eyes were glued to the screen as I was completely hypnotized by this playthrough. High level pack attack is immensely satisfying to watch and wouldn't be out of place among the likes of Subway Surfers or any other visual ASMR to seize the attention of your last brain cell. I was so fascinated to learn that there's not only a harder difficulty than I previously had thought, but that there's people out there who have mastered that difficulty. At first, I was as casual as they came. I would typically choose standard mode, which on this port starts at level 40, and survive until the 60s or 70s. After a few of these sessions, I was proud enough to even highlight my first time surpassing level 100. Once standard mode felt too easy, I came to prefer veteran mode. Occasionally, I would dabble in some god hand attempts, but they never got very far. I was lucky to even reach the first transition at level 910. The game cycles through a few different backgrounds after reaching certain levels. Normally, these transitions are very few and far between, but God Hand cycles through a new background every 10 levels, which at my skill level, felt like a serious event. The furthest I ever got was level 937, and that's the last time I would attempt God Hand for the next few years. So a few years passed, and I decided I was ready to give it my all. This goal had been screaming at me from my bucket list, and it was finally time to begin the necessary grind to achieve it. Here's Pack Attack, right here. Game start. So this is, I guess this is our next uh, ghost-based grind we're gonna do. I don't know how to get through this menu. You know what, I have a save state. Oh! Alright, so this is Pack Attack, you know, you load up Nalv Nalvis? <laughs> you load up Nalvis mode. Oh wow, interesting! It turns out the Pac-Man World 2 version of Pack Attack, even though it looks just like this, does their difficulties differently, so I believe Novice mode starts at level 10? But I start at level 40. What the hell? What about standard? Is this like 100? Wow, no way. The Pac-Man World 2 version, beginner is 0, Novice you start at 10 and standard is 40, but this version it's 0, 40, 100, and I think 300 is veteran. I've done a few attempts of this on this game before streaming to like sort of get warmed up again, and I got to like 920 something a couple times. God hand, question mark? What is this? So every 10 pieces you get a Pac-Man. It takes that long to get a Pac-Man. And you gotta survive until 9.99 to beat the game. Which I haven't even come close to before. And I'm like good at this game, so like what the fuck? At least I think I'm good. I'd say I'm pretty good. Shit just piles up, yo. I've got a few saves times in here. If I do poorly, I just do beach. For now, I'm a beach. I'm either Walta or One Punch Man. 9.11. That's beach territory. I didn't even get a high enough score to beat Mayumi, one of the placeholder names. So yeah, despite my past experience, this mode kicked my ass. At least it seemed that way because, as is often the case whenever I do one of these weird challenges that I do, all two of them, I got some wild beginner's luck on day one. I demolished my old personal best of 937. Oh, look at this break break. Eat him up. Oh, transition number three. I don't know how I've survived this long. This is this is crazy. Dude, transition. Oh, we got the 950. Holy crap. Obama. 950. All I have to do to complete this challenge is survive twice as long as that attempt. So naturally, the next few days I play like complete garbage. Maybe not completely, since I did manage to snag this PB on day four. 964. Ah, but otherwise, I was struggling. You know, I really could have used some of those Pack Attack Pro tips that I promised earlier. <laughs> Tip number one, horizontal is better than vertical. There's a time and a place to build a large vertical tower of ghosts, much like there's a time and a place to build a large vertical tower in, say, Minecraft, but this definitely should not be your go-to strategy. Eventually, you'll get a set of pieces containing more ghosts than you know what to even do with, aside from grouping up a huge glob of ghosts, which is very unsustainable. Instead, your priority should be stacking ghosts horizontally, then gradually snaking it upwards. The key thing here is that you usually won't get the perfect pieces in the perfect order to create a snake, most of the time you'll be filling in whatever part of the snake makes the most sense for each piece you're given, then ideally bridging those pieces together. 
Perhaps the most common way that I lost runs was when I didn't follow tip number two, avoid directional dependencies like the plague. The direction that Pac-Man faces, whether it's left or right, is completely random. There were countless times that I instantly lost because I absolutely needed Pac-Man to face the direction that he wasn't facing. Sometimes it'll work out, but you're gonna lose that coin toss eventually. Sometimes it's a really big brain move to intentionally block off a ghost. That way, no matter which direction Pac-Man's facing, he'll be able to complete the entire chain at hand. Tip number three, eliminate diagonality. Yes, that is a word. The checkerboard of death should not be taken lightly. Okay. This song goes real hard. Oh god. You can get away with a little bit of diagonality, but avoid this pattern as much as possible. Tip number four, avoid stacking to the ceiling. Especially on columns two and five. That's two entire columns where you can no longer place any pieces until the playfield's lowered again. A column on the side or the middle isn't quite as hazardous, but still limits your available options. By the way, the main reason I struggle to go back to the more widely known 16-bit versions is due to one simple reason. Pieces can only rotate counterclockwise. That's right, counterclockwise is once again the canonical direction. Well, the absolute fucking geniuses behind Namco Anthology 2 had the revolutionary idea to add a clockwise rotation button. Again? Spin the other way! Single directional rotation requires awkward triple rotations, and that just ain't doing it for me. This would technically make the level 900 start of 16-bit pack attack slightly more difficult, but that's debatable because those versions hand out a lot more fairies. Not to mention it doesn't even get a cool name like God Hand. So what's the point? Another great thing about Pack Attack is the sheer accessibility of its inputs. And the game award for innovation and accessibility goes to Pack Attack. While Tetris does have a higher skill ceiling that takes thousands of hours to master, Pack Attack merely takes hundreds of hours to master since there's no elements of high speed play required, it's primarily about technique. Maximum gravity isn't as daunting as it looks, especially with how lenient the lock delay is. It takes a whopping 48 frames for a piece to finally lock into position, even in God Hand. Of course, you can speed this process up by pressing down, which means you can actually speedrun this game by trying to play quickly. Unlike Tetris, which requires a great deal of precision with tapping or delayed auto-shifting the piece into position, Pack Attack allows you to buffer your positioning far in advance. If you want to place something on the far right, simply hold right before the piece even shows up. It's a highly cerebral experience in that you're far more likely to lose from your own decision making rather than poor execution. Not to say that I haven't messed up my execution. Wait, I... <laughs> And my motivation for, like, actually important things is, like, at an all-time low. I'm just tired all the time, I feel like. It was day 11, still haven't PB'd since day 4, and I truly felt like I hit rock bottom. Tired from my 11 hours of wage slaving, losing focus, not flourishing. And then, in my time of need, at my lowest point... I don't even know if I can play this game anymore. The power of money was injected directly into my veins. Oh. Not even an hour into this stream, and I get a PB. What the hell? We almost got a million points. We got to a million points! That's my first time getting to a million points. Okay, I think I'm done for the night. One more? I guess I could do one more. I tied my PB. <laughs> oh, I'm so stupid. And then I stacked to the ceiling. Nah!
Wow, a micro PB. <laughs> Dude, that was such a low scoring game. That is the lowest scoring game. I never broke more than three lines at a time. My biggest chain was only 17. And then the third number is how many ferries were canceled, and I did zero this attempt, which further contributed to the impressively low score for how far I got. Oh yeah, and ghosts were technically called monsters at this time, hence the name Mon. No contest, the most bittersweet session of this whole journey was day 18, which was the origin of the very first clip that I showed in this video. No! I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew I wasn't gonna get off that easily, but what an improvement. Hopefully the weight of choking at level 997 is much more palpable now that I've bestowed all this knowledge upon you. Well, don't worry, because the biggest choke would come later that same stream. Yeah, so you got all these games. You got, uh... King? Oh, this is the one that you liked. News? What's in the news? I guess I gotta play the game to hear the news. Anyway, here we go. We're not playing any other games. We're playing Pack Attack. Which we almost won. Until we didn't. Come on, keep it together. Jesus, dude. Jesus, did I lose again? No way. Oh my god, are you serious? You gotta be joking me. <laughs> Why can't I just win this game? Oh my god. How does it always fall apart? Like, I'm so... I'm seriously trying my gosh darndest. It's kind of crazy because the difficulty never changes this whole run, apart from each successive fairy taking longer to acquire. It's merely a 30-minute test of mental stamina that I happens to fail at the very end twice in the same day. There, there genuinely was a doubt in my mind that I would be able to do this. I thought, ah, oh, there's no way. There's no way to be this consistent for this long. But now I'm like, actually, maybe I can... Well, now I'm like, yeah, I can definitely do this now. But when I started, I genuinely didn't know if I could do it. So I've come a long way. So on day 19, nothing of note would happen. Then on day 20, that would be the day that I would finally obtain the honor of God hand, as it were. Now, before I show the unedited, unadulterated, complete footage of my first time beating this mode, I wanted to just leave some closing thoughts, some uh, ending thoughts here. I haven't even scripted this part of the video. This is just purely coming from the heart here. I'm fully aware that it's no Tetris, it's no Puyo Puyo. The skill ceiling is much lower. But for me personally, I really enjoy this game. I kind of wish I got a little bit more attention. I guess I'll also give a couple shout outs uh, to Nick666, who was a longtime master of Pack Attack. He's actually the one who made me realize that the 16 bit variations of level 900 starts even exist in the first place. Also, want to give a shout out to What Was Dat, who was also attempting to go for God Hand for a while before I even started my grind. He did finally manage to obtain it himself, but he had an even more heartbreaking choke than I did, choking at level 999. Yes, you can actually choke at 999 before the game like i think the game doesn't end until it would have ticked over to a thousand the invisible a thousand 
So yeah, he actually choked at level 999. I saw that in the VOD. Uh, at some point during my grind, it was like, oh man, that sucks. Hope it doesn't happen to me. It almost essentially did, but you know, it is what it is. And maybe this video will stir up some interest in others playing the game. That'd be cool if it did. If it doesn't, then so be it. But hey, you know, if I inspire even just one person to attempt this mode and really grinds to obtain that honor of God hand, that would mean so much to me. So, and who knows, in the future, I might even go for some all fairy cancel runs or even do some speed runs of this mode, see how fast I can beat it by trying to play quickly. But for now, that's going to be all for me. I really hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Hope you found it interesting. And yeah, peace. Dude, I just know that like, that day that I got to 990 whatever twice, if I streamed like the day after that, I would have been like peak mental, peak dental, peak pack attack mode. But here we are. Yo, what's up Pinball Wiz? Wait, what doesn't show bones when it gets shocked? Looks like AIT. What's AIT? Oh, Avengers in time. Huh. <coughs> oh, God. I'm dying, guys. Did my bones show up when I sneezed right there? That's like getting shocked, right? God, I was getting all the wrong pieces there. The hell, bro. Getting all the wrong pieces. My collarbone glitched out of my model a bit. I mean, you can't you can't blame these devs, right? They're working tirelessly on me, my my model, you know. Sneezing is a glitch in the matrix. You just can't see it because your eyes always close when you sneeze. Am I right? I'm not right? I'm pretty sure I'm right. Big ass column. Gotta love to see it. Nice Tetris. Almost a quest questress. <laughs> a pestress. We need to catch your name for getting five of them. A Pinterest? Pinterest. Pinterest. Y'all ever go shopping on Pinterest? I don't, because I'm not a woman. <laughs> Just kidding. I've never used Pinterest though. Except for when I'm Google searching and it happens to bring me to Pinterest. Should I make a Pinterest? Would it be of interest to make a Pinterest? Canceled faster than the D&D Beyond subscription? You canceled your D&D Beyond subscription? What was wrong with it? Were they as sexist as I was just now? Or worse?
Is it possible to be worse? I don't know. I'm probably not gonna make a Pentros. I don't I don't follow D and D. Otherwise I, I would have certainly heard the drama. They tried to make people say for using D and D rules. Or wait, what? Oh, pay for using oh. So they were just greedy is all. Okay. Classic greed. Oh, was that the Wizards of Waverly Hills? Wizards of the Coast? I saw videos recommended to me about that, but I don't... I don't play Magic or D&D, so I didn't really care to watch it. Uh, but I guess that's what it is. Oh, that's different? Bro, speaking of drama, we're canceling this Twitter. This <laughs> We're canceling this fairy. And we're canceling this Twitter account of the fairy. <laughs> Dude, I can't talk right now. Holy shit. All right. We're canceling this Twitter. Hopefully I can live this. Yo, what's up, Inkstar? Hope the grind hasn't been killing you. Feels like it's been going well for you. You've been getting hella good paces, right? You've been pacing. Just like I've been pacing in Tupac. Sorry, not Tupac. What's the, what's like the Tupac equivalent of Pack Attack? Abbreviation wise. Tupac just rolls off the tongue so nicely. And is a rapper. But I'm not a rapper. 4005. Wait, isn't that like cracked? What's my best Rico exit? I can't even remember. That sounds pretty cracked to me. I am, bruh. Wait. Wait, that can't be right, isn't... Is it like a really good, uh... Oh, you meant 47. I was like, wait, this doesn't compute to me. <laughs> what? 40? I was like, I know it's been a while since I played this game, but this sounds completely foreign to me. 40, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Okay, what I was thinking of was... I think I've gotten 146 ever. Maybe two. My, my current PB gets a 46, I'm pretty sure. Before I choke in Noki 6 and Corona. And Bowser sucks. Oh, wait, I already canceled one. Oh, God. Hopefully we're okay. Cancelled on Twitter again. I hope I don't regret this. This might have been a huge mistake. Actually, I think we're good. We're gonna get a triple. A triple dipple. Actually, we're chilling. Yo, we just double cancelled. Like it was nothing. There we go. Hey, I'm not a nerd. This is a totally normal thing. This guy thinks just because he's watching football and I'm playing pack attack. The coolest game ever, I might add. Pack attack, coolest game ever. <clears throat> That's a fact. All right. You don't care about the pack shit? Bro. I know you're talking about memorizing times. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Don't worry. You're not talking about the pack shit. You're talking about knowing your splits. 
<clears throat> despite the fact that I haven't done runs in quite a while. Now I'm very normal, I promise. You gotta believe me. Column to the ceiling, Pac-Man off the screen. That's some cool shit right there. Alright. In what other game do you see Pac-Man surfing on a Chaos Emerald with escape text over it? Alright, not, not many other games have that feature. I'll tell you right now. That was a very nice breakdown. You thought we were in trouble. But look at us now. Gaming. Well, are we gaming? Yeah, we're gaming. If Pac-Man was facing right, we wouldn't have been gaming, but we're gaming. Oh wait, are we... Ooh. I don't like this one bit. Oh, we're gaming. He's facing left again. Let's go. I seriously got to fix this situation that I'm in. Because, uh, yikes. Alright, that was that's pretty good. Oh, three lefts in a row, man. Three lefts in a row. How close have I been to 999? 998. And a 997 before that as well. We were we were cusping pretty hard. It's only a matter of time now. He didn't face left a fourth time in a row. I can't believe it. There. There's the left Pac-Man. The left Twix Pac-Man we know and love. And we're gonna use this fairy because we're... We got four rows of junk down there, may as well. I think we have to use this one. So, let's fucking use it. <clears throat> Alright. 940. Haku man. But I'm not a weeb. God damn it, the double triple ghost. Always rough. Another one. All right. Okay, that guy's gonna be blocked, but everyone else is uh, lined up. Somewhat. Ah. Whatever. Uh, let's do this. That actually might have been, like, the worst idea ever. Um... Okay. Very good piece to get there. We'll get a nice double break. Get down to that guy. 
Excellent. Woo. Looking a little rough, but we're looking good now. We need these bricks. Nah, we got no ETA on that. We might be done, but we don't know. It's just like so much work. Editing that shit, you know. It was a fun little passion project though. For sure. With my boy. KO. <laughs> Featuring Sid sometimes. Oh, you would face Oh the brick. That was woke. Woke RNG. Hey, even RNG can be woke sometimes, right? Not just me. You missed the 998 run? Well, you're just in time for the 999 run. And by 999, I mean we're gonna die at 999. Which is possible, by the way. You have to actually get to a thousand. Or like when it would be a thousand. So. I could have choked even harder than I have. Believe it or not. You gotta get to when it ticks over to a thousand. Dude, two streams ago, I was going off. Like, the stream before I left for Genesis... ...was nutty. God damn. Could you cut, cool it off with the ghost? We get it, it's Pac-Man, there's ghosts in this game. Brrrr. Sorry, monsters. <laughs> well, actually, uh... They're monsters in this game. Fuck you. There we go, y'all. Halfway there, oh, oh, living on a prayer. Oh, whoa, living on a prayer. Squidward on a chair. You're AFKing in Minecraft. The balls on this man. What if there's a creeper? Oh man. You never know. Creeper. Oh man. You will not be creeped. That's what they always say before they get creeped. 
But I believe you. That was our best B. Creepers in the chat. Ah, that was a misplace of the century. Yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> man it is yo starting a new engineering job in the morning good luck dude hope it goes well you'll be fine you'll be fine Just don't bring a bomb to work and you'll be fine. That's my words of wisdom. Yeah, high barrier to entry, honestly. <laughs> Especially for we Americans. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I am Uncle Slam is American. Unless he's trying to throw everyone off. I, I'm just gotta. I'm just wi a wise. I have wisdom. I'm a wise man. Nine seventy. Oh, if he was facing left, it would have been a chef's kiss. Moment. We're gonna use this one because we're just gonna literally. I'm just gonna fucking put stuff wherever I want. Oh. I'm just gonna intentionally. Actually, dude, I was trying to play bad. I was actually not that bad. <laughs> it doesn't matter though. Alright, alright, alright. Right. Good meme. Wow, we're at a million points already? Holy crap. I feel like that's. Well, double fairy cancel. Yeah, that'll do it, I guess. Alright. Ooh. Nah, when you get to, you know, the invisible 1000s, the game actually ends. Like, it rolls the credits. They are like, wow, you're epic. And uh, that's that. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know why Sid's pissed off about Skyward Sword. Classic Sid pissed off about Skyward Sword. Yeah, it, it is kind of funny. It's like the the game never changes, and yet I always seem to die like right towards the very end. It's just silly.
See, now we're like, like, why are we looking ugly? What's going on here? We can fix this. I know we can fix this. Come on, guys. I know we can do it. We just gotta put our backs into it. But goddamn, we gotta get down there. We got Pac-Man zapping a ghost. Yo, Mellow Michael, hopefully I don't die right when you get here. <laughs> I might be dead though. Oh, okay, we need these bricks. We need, yo. Bricks? Okay. That was a life-saving bricks. Life-changing bricks. Okay. Dude, I'm trying so hard to not let it slip away through my fingertips. Okay, got to those guys. That's good. We're attacking pretty well right now, but... Don't let your guard down. Nice, got to the... Ooh, we recovered that, thank god. I genuinely thought I was gonna die pretty soon. That was freaky. Gotta be bricked up. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, little little rough there. I got unfortunate pieces. But we're still like relatively low. So we can hopefully recover this. Gotta break down. Okay, really good. We get double breaks here. Boom. More double bricks. There we go. Pack attack. Final background. Thank you for facing right. That'll help. That's fine. <clears throat> okay, a double. A double double. Dude, my heart is beating. My heart is beating. Isn't that crazy, guys? My heart's beating. That's fucked up. Right. <laughs> okay. When your heart is beating, you know you're gaming. Convenient bricks, okay. There's 
No, no stupid moves, please. Look at all those monsters. All those ghosts. Clean board. Let's go. Is this it? Is this it? Did we attack well enough in pack attack? Nine ninety nine, but we're not there yet. Finally, and the game ends. You probably never thought pack attack ever ended, but here you go. Oh, I got terrible bonuses. Oh well. <laughs> Two canceled fairies. I'll take that. Finally. Beat the game. There we go. Took 20 days. Great work! You made it! But it doesn't end here. The players who've reached God Hand will be awarded a bonus according to the magnificence of their play. It depends on the number of monsters eaten. See, monsters, not ghosts. The number of monsters eaten at a time, the number of lines erased at a time, and the numbers of fairies... the number of times a fairy's been cancelled. To be crowned the king of god... god... hyphen hands. Challenge to the record of 37 monsters, 7 lines, and 7 times, usually all fairies. Funny thing about this text, it says to cancel seven fairies for like the ultimate grand high score. That's literally impossible. The most you can ever get is six. I don't know why it says seven, but okay. But yeah, we did it. Beat the mode. Two fairy cancels. That's more than zero, more than one. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. Thank you for the sub, Simmer, Sammervin. Oh. What can I say? What? I gotta give like a speech or something? I mean, I'll, I'll give all the necessary info in like the preamble to the pack attack video I'm gonna make before this run happens. So you probably already know everything about this why I began this grind in the first place, why I am so into this game, I guess. Um, turns out there is no sound glitch in this game, I'm just stupid. That's all I'll say about that. Whew. It, it really did, I never realized, like, I never thought I was gonna get to a point where beating this mode felt so inevitable. Because when I began this grind, it genuinely felt like it was impossible. I was like, I'm losing all my runs like at the first, maybe second transition. That's the furthest I can even get. I don't see myself living, you know, five times that length. You know, I was getting to like 920, barely. But get, to get to 999, like, come on, man, that's so much crazier. But, you know, I eventually, I picked up on the patterns. And I just, I don't know, I got woker and bespoker, and here we are. Special thanks to NASA. It is in space, so shouts to NASA. I, I'm assuming that's not the NASA, that's probably just a person, but... And I have no idea how many other people have beaten this mode. I only know of like four people. Look at that, level GH. That's like the, the Grandmaster equivalent of this game. Which we officially call the Grand Bastard. 
To be a Grand Bastard of Pack Attack, you gotta beat this mode. Get to level GH. Grand Hamster. <laughs> it can be whatever you want it to be. Do we stick to the Trover name or something a little more special? I don't know. You know what? Let's go Trey. Let's go Trey. Stick with Trover. Should we do a vote? Should we vote on if it's Trey or Trover? <laughs> Video games are hard. I'm thinking Trey for some reason. It feels special. Trover is like the haha -ha funny Trey. Let's go Trey. Let's go Trey. Yeah, just let, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking about this too much. Let's just go Trey. This is Trey's, the only run Trey's ever done. Kida is in fourth place. I don't know who that is. Giori. Man. Joe Mama, Rats 8. We got a solid top 10 lineup here, folks. <laughs> but there we go. Beat the mode. Actually, it's really good that I actually managed to get it on a run that had two fairy cancels. Because otherwise it would have not been the highest score on there, which would have felt a little bit anti-climax, you know, but it was the highest score I got as well.